The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. Specifics. Let's delve into it. So I already told you it's a 10 step process. Step one through to step 10. Let's go each, let's go over each and every one of them in a very detailed, uh, in a very detailed way. So on step one, glucose is actually phosphorylated by ATP to form uh, glucose six phosphate. So what we have is glucose being converted into glucose six phosphate. So this step actually consumes the molecule of ATP, and as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we have glucose right here being converted into glucose 6 phosphate. It actually consumes a molecule of, utilizes a molecule of ATP. Okay, so that high energy molecule provides energy to catalyze that reaction in the forward direction, and it actually uses a molecule of ADP. So ATP is converted into ADP, that high energy bond. Okay, that high energy bond between uh, is broken in this process, it's hydrolyzed, and that energy is actually used to drive the forward reaction in this case. Now, the enzyme that's responsible for actually catalyzing this reaction is referred to as hexokinase. It's an enzyme that is actually responsible for transferring the phosphate group from ATP to the sugar, resulting in the formation of glucose 6-phosphate and ADP. So, very simple reaction. But there's one more important thing that I want to point out in this case. You see our phosphate group up here? It has a negative charge. That actually serves a very important role. That negative charge is actually what keeps glucose 6-phosphate inside the cell. It prevents the passage of glucose 6-phosphate through the plasma membrane into the exterior of the cell or outside or to the exterior of the cell. So this reaction not only uh, converts glucose to glucose 6-phosphate, which is obviously the substrate for the next step of the reaction, but it also ensures that there's a significant accumulation or concentration of sugar in the form of glucose 6-phosphate inside the cell by preventing its exit through the plasma membrane. So what we're going to do is move on to step two. Glucose to glucose 6-phosphate, that's step one. 